حبکی اما پروسس کی مرل های وشیگان مرکی شادو این کاتان حقایی و اگر قبلا کرده. Somalia's federal election implementation team announced a list of elected MPs late Thursday. The deadline for voting was supposed to be March 31st, with a swearing-in ceremony scheduled for April 14th. All 54 senators were named, but only 245 legislators in the lower house of the National Assembly were revealed. Three seats from Southwest State and one from Hershebele were suspended. The position won by National Security Advisor Fahad Yassin was one of those vacated, immediately causing controversy. While there was no immediate comment from Villa Somalia, President Mohamed Formaggio was reported to be angry in considering his options. The announcement came after Prime Minister Mohamed Roble met with the FEIT the previous day. Roble congratulated the committee on Twitter, saying, Prime Minister Mohamed H. Roble congratulates FEIT for announcing the results of the elected MPs of the House of the People and the Upper House in accordance with the electoral process agreed upon urges them to adhere to the swearing-in schedule of the MPs, which ends on April 14th. Robles' office also issued a statement with a message for the duly elected legislators. The Prime Minister sends his congratulations and best wishes to the newly elected members of Parliament and wishes them the best of luck in their mission to save the country. Formaggio supporters reacted with outrage online. While the president's backers blame Roble for trying to sideline some of Formaggio's loyalists, it is not clear what action he can take now. His finance minister, Abdirahman Bele, urged the country to get on with the presidential vote. He warned that Somalia is already losing money because of the delay and faces a May 15th deadline with the IMF that could harm the economy greatly. Somalia has its own issues and problems. Of course, it is a fragile country and anything can happen. But I think we all agree that the election is over. The fact that the parliamentary election is 96% complete means that the first phase of the presidential election is approaching. Besides the four seats suspended, another 26 still need to be voted on. 16 of those are in Gado, and no satisfactory venue has been selected after Gabahari was deemed unsafe. The rest are in Hershebele. The State Election Commission announced two of those seats, HOP number 019 and HOP number 059, will be voted on Saturday. Both seats are currently occupied by women. But the Hershebele SEIT says they will be contested by both women and men. 64 females have been elected between both houses, giving women just 19% of the MP positions. A 30% quota was agreed upon before balloting began. ADN TV will continue to report on Somalia's national elections as they limp toward completion. <laughs>